Okay, the Nash equilibrium. Okay, um, we're gonna see what we can learn from this today. Okay, and we'll start okay with this. I'm sure this should be very familiar with all of you, right? This is the prisoner's dilemma. Okay, Dick and Jane were caught cheating in an exam, and they were put into different cells, right? And they got no form, no ways of communicating with one another. Okay, and um, they're given two choices. Okay, you either confess on your uh, on, on on the other partner, okay, that that person is wrong. Okay, or you can just do not confess anything. Okay, so this is called okay game theory, right? And uh, in this matrix, okay, we can see okay this the blue the blue part okay shows uh Dick's um um actions as well as the consequences that he's gonna getting okay that's in blue color. As for Jane, it's gonna be in black. Now, um, just go through one of these boxes. Okay, let's say Jane. Okay, let's say for Dick. Okay, he's got two choices. Okay, um, let's say he chooses to confess. Okay. So now, if he sorry, just let me cover this up. If Dick, uh, if Dick confesses, all right, okay, and if Jane confesses as well, both of them are gonna get one year in, in 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 jail. Okay. However, if Dick confesses that Jane was at fault, and Jane keeps quiet about it, okay, Dick will be released after 20, 20 days. Okay. Whereas Jane is gonna get ten years in prison. Now, if let's say, okay, um, okay, um, Dick chooses not to confess, okay, Dick chooses not to confess, right, these are the consequences. If Jane, okay, ditches on him, right, he's gonna get 10 years, and Jane is gonna be off in 20 days, okay, and if both of them keep quiet, okay, they're both gonna get 3 months. So, let's look at the matrixes one by one, alright, the boxes, alright. Now, for this box, okay, obviously, I mean, if it's me, I don't want to be in a freaking position here, man. I mean, I mean, who knows, right? I don't know whether Jane is going to tell me or not. So, why the hell should I keep quiet and risk getting 10 years, right? And it will be the same for Jane. I mean, you know, in this world, it's all about being selfish, you know. Yeah, you can't trust one another. And, um, yeah, it sucks, right? So, this would be the best response. In order to, in order to cover their own asses, it's the best that they confess about one another. Because they know, okay, that in this case, alright, this is the best response. This is what we call the best response, alright. Because they know that they can't trust one another, alright. And, um, look at this over here. You, you, you see, it's like, they will get three months each if they both do not confess. But how sure are you, okay, that your partner is not gonna, is not gonna tell on you, man? You're never gonna be sure. So, as you can see, this is the most ideal situation we can get, you know? Yeah, I mean, if, if, if everybody can trust one another, and everybody can live up to their word, everybody has got, ev got, has got other people in their minds, okay, then, um, great, okay, but, uh, yeah, that's when pigs will fly, alright? So, this is not gonna happen, right? And, so, therefore, okay, they will end up in this box over here. Okay, you can apply this to a lot of stuff, right? You can apply this to, uh, you know, even in relationships, you know? Um, and in relationships, maybe it's not about trust. It's about different interests and different goals in life. You know, if both of you can't, can, you know, come to a conclusion and cooperate with one another, okay, then you just freaking break up, uh, you know? Simple. Alright, so now, um, with that done, okay, I, I would like to show you the Connaught model, alright? Mm, here. Okay, the corner model looks something like this, okay, uh, right, okay, so we we'll just draw, you know, typical monopolist diagram first, okay, this is the demand curve right here, okay, this is your marginal revenue, sorry, it's not very straight, okay, and this is your marginal cost, here, zero, okay, now, um, I know it's very confusing, but, Okay, don't worry. All right, this is just for simplicity, simplicity sake. All right, just, just, just imagine that, uh, yeah, you know, th people are just making things easier for us. Okay, I mean, with a curve, it's gonna be freaking difficult to analyze. So, MC is zero. Okay, and where would a perfect competitor produce? Here, right. So, this is where the perfect comp will produce, and this is where the monopolist will produce. Okay, and it will charge at this particular price. Right? Now, notice that this is a straight line, so we can actually give this thing like an equation, you know. Okay, that's something like this. You know, demand functions. 
always look like this. Alright, A is the y intercept. Okay, minus B is the gradient of the graph. Alright, it's minus because it's downward sloping. X is X. Alright. So we know that MC equals to zero. Alright, so we now know that at this point intersection, right, this happens. Right? So if you were to apply the formula to this, to zero, okay, you will come up with this. So this is the quantity of x, okay, of which the perfect competition is going to be producing. It will be, and as for this guy, okay, you know that the gradient of the marginal re the, the the formula for the marginal revenue is this. Y two bx because it's two times steeper. So same thing, all right? Mr equals to mc, right? So it's a minus two bx equals to zero you will get this. Right, so this is where the monopolist is going to be producing. This is the quantity. Right, okay, so I know this is getting a bit messy, but just bear with me one more last one to go, alright? So if let's say, alright, now we have an uh, economy where there is uh, iPhones, alright, and Androids. Okay, so these are the two big players now, alright? So let's say Apple is in the industry first, okay, and they're monopolizing the whole whole smartphone industry, and then Android decides to come in. You know, in a freaking ideal world, right? What what's gonna happen is that you know Apple and Google just gonna work together, just gonna work together and act like one monopolist. No, but we talk about it in the prisoner's dilemma. There's no such thing, right? Because of trust issues and uh, different interests. So if I'm at, if I'm Google, I'm coming in. What I wanna do is, alright, since you're gonna be charging at this price. Producing at this quantity, oh, it's okay, man. I'm gonna monopolize on the rest of the economy, the rest of the market demand. Well, because nobody's gonna pay. I'm gonna be able to charge at a lower price, okay? And uh, you lose, right? My product may be better than yours, okay? So, you think Apple is just gonna be a stupid ass and just sit there and let Android, you know, take over as well? No, it's not gonna do that. What Apple is gonna do is gonna do the same thing, all right? Okay, fine. You wanna take the other half? I'll take your other half, right? So it's gonna go down lower and lower and lower. So you know they'll be fighting here over price wars and shit like that. Two firms only, you know. Okay. So when do they stop? You know, we they, there's definitely have a have a time for them to stop. They can't produce the entire economy. Why? Well, because if they start to produce everything, they start to produce A over B, and because of cost, then they'll be experiencing normal profit. You know. Then why why would they be in an oligopoly? No point, right? They want to earn profit. Okay. So now. Here's how the proof that they will stop, okay, at one third, right? Now, okay, I just wanna show you this this graph, right? I think it's very interesting, uh, and you have to know this okay, if you wanna do this question. Okay, now on this x-axis, right? Okay, the vertical axis is gonna be the quantity produced by player number two, okay, or let's say Android. Android's here, right? Okay, and this is uh, iPhones. Alright, now, okay, I'm gonna use red, okay, to represent Androids. Okay, and I'm gonna use blue to represent the iPhones. Okay, so, let's, let's say, if Apple is gonna be producing, okay, zero iPhones. Okay, Apple is gonna be z producing zero iPhones. What the hell is Android gonna do? Oh, holy shit, man, I'm gonna produce an entire market. Okay, but, what if, okay, Android will be producing zero iPhones. Okay? Ah, sorry, uh, Android will be producing zero phones. What is iPhone gonna do? iPhone is gonna produce everything on the market, right? Not? Okay? So, going back to Android, if let's say, okay, iPhone was inside here first, and then Android came in second. So, when we learn of in the Connaught model, what we're gonna do okay, in order okay, to, 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 to be competitive enough, what Android, what Google is going to do, it's going to produce half. Uh. Okay? So, which means, okay, that, oh, sorry, it's not here. It's here. That means when iPhone is producing at this much, okay, Android will produce here. So, you're going to get this graph over here. Okay? Same thing for Android, uh, for iPhone, right? You're going to come here. And then, this is what we call these graphs here, okay, the best response function. Okay, best response. Same thing, until they reach equilibrium here. This okay, is our well-known Nash equilibrium. Okay. Alright, 
Now we gotta prove it mathematically. Okay, and the maths is really easy, okay? Do not be scared of this. Okay, all of us definitely can do it. Okay. Here we go. Now, let's say, okay, Apple was inside here first. Okay, so we don't wanna talk shit about Apple now. Let's talk about Android. Because Android came in second. What is Android's okay? Output gonna be. Right? So we know that it's gonna capitalize on half the market. Right? So we know we now know that the entire market supply is A over B because of the graph that we just drew just now. Um where the hell? Okay, here. See? This is the total market demand. Alright, and what we're gonna do, okay, for Android is we're gonna be we're gonna produce, okay, at half of what's left. So let X1 okay, be the, the the iPhone, Apple's output, okay, and we'll capitalize on half of that shit. Okay, so now Apple has seen this, okay, so to make things easier, let Android be X2. Okay, Android be X2, okay, I'll tell you what, XA, XI, iPhone, Android, okay. Now, iPhone, the Apple isn't just going to be like stupid and just sit there and do nothing. What Apple is going to do is going to capitalize on the other half, okay, on the bottom half, again, okay, so XA, half. So now, this, okay, is also called our best response, okay, uh, function, okay, what we can do now, we can substitute this into this, okay, and I'll show you how the mess is going to go. Okay, I know my handwriting is shitty, okay, I'll, I'll try to write a bit nicer, okay. Alright, so, um, x a equals to, okay, a over b minus x i half, x i equals to a over b minus x a half, okay, now, you sub this into that, okay, you're gonna get x a equals to a over b, minus a over b, this portion over here, okay, minus x a times half, times half, okay, now we expand all of that out, okay, I know I'm, you multiply that in, I know I'm sounding a little bit um, unhappy, but, uh, well, this is the real world, okay, um, people can't cooperate, But that's okay. Right, we're almost done. Okay, so you multiply that in. You know, I suggest you go watch this movie called um, A Beautiful Mind. It's really a beautiful movie. It shows how John Nash okay, came up with the Nash Equilibrium. And it was, it's an interesting story because um, how he, according to the show, what he did was um, he was having beer with some of his friends, okay, and um, okay, a, few, a bunch of blondes walked in, okay, a bunch of girls, okay, but one of them was the hottest, okay, so there were there were five of them there, five of the girls there, but there were four guys, okay, and one of them is the most is the prettiest lah, okay. So he, he, he started thinking in his mind, um, okay, um, if every one of us try to go for the blonde, okay, and then if we get rejected and we go for her friends, okay, then they will reject us as well. Why? Because um, who, nobody wants to be second choice. Alright, so the best idea, okay, is to not go for the blonde. Just go for the other girls. That's the only way they can get laid. Okay, um... It's, it's, a, it's a cool story, uh, some, it's a story about somebody who's freaking smart, right? Just check it out on my on my channel, okay? There's a video I'm on it. So we've come up with this, okay? And if you do for XI, you get the same thing, right? Thanks for watching, guys, okay? You agree.